My name is Field Hudnall. My brother Clay and I are the owners of Field Proven Calls. We build premium duck, goose, and turkey calls. Every call we ship out the door, we want it to be the very best. We want to make the world's most realistic sounding waterfowl and turkey calls. Every call we build is handled by someone that lives and breathes waterfowl and turkey hunting. With our job, we spend a lot of time on the road traveling the country. Working shows, doing promotional work, and hunting with new and old friends that we've made over the years. Fall season is a web-based show that is going to introduce you to our friends across the nation. Waterfowl hunters all across the country are very unique individuals. From their hunting style to their way of life, those are the stories that we're going to tell. Just like you, we all live double lives. We work. That's what I do in the summertime, pray. We have family. And then we are hunters. Damn! From ducks, geese, to turkeys, you're gonna see some great hunting action. Right into them. A look inside the call making business and meet some interesting people that live and breathe hunting just like you. Hell, I start blowing it and men are just falling here. We're going to take you inside the lifestyle of waterfowl hunters across the country. But uh, I'll take you through a little tour of this, the little MTV cribs of the West Tennessee WMA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't get this kind of service at Denny's. Though. This is better than Denny's right here. Yo, MTV, welcome to my crib. You're going to see a side of field proven calls that you have never seen before. Fall season is a show that is going to go in the direction that you want it to go. Ask questions and make suggestions, and we will show it. Kill. Double, baby. I redeemed myself. Because it allowed that bird to come within seven yards and he never had, never knew we were there. You will hear tips that will help you in the field. And tips that, well, why wouldn't you want to take them to the field? What part of bacon, grease, and donut could not turn out awesome? One-on-one -on -one interviews with some of the industry's leading professionals. You know, something that is different about us is we sell so many puppies, we train all our own puppies and then we run all our own puppies. So you look on my roster and a weekend I have 20 dogs and I train their mom, their dad, their grandma, their granddad, kind of like Hottie. I mean, she's damn just a product of everything we've done here since 1989. We even take steps back in time with old photos and footage to show you how times have changed. You ought to get online, Google Nash Buckingham, because he hunted this part of the world and really he hunted from Canada to Mexico. And in some ways, times have not changed at all. I arrived in Vietnam at Cameron Bay, August 17, 1972. The 101st Airborne Division, Screaming Eagles. I was a Sergeant E-5. I was a squad leader. But hunting is, uh, it was instilled into me when I was 10 years old. And, to this day, it's just a family heritage. My shotgun that I, that I shoot pretty much every day is a, a VH Parker. 
and uh, it is from the turn of the century. I think it was actually built early in the year 1900, and uh, it's all original, and it's still in really good shape, and I, I shoot it every day and use it, use it just like I would anything else. Yeah, that's, I hope I look at good at 111. That's what the, uh, he's going out there for. We travel thousands of miles to tell the most unique stories. From unique blinds, decoy spreads, to even the people themselves. Go ahead and tell us what it's like back when you were a kid, Jackie. No, no, well, I, I used to walk backwards to school. We would set eight to nine hundred, sometimes a thousand silhouettes. It's just like chaos. Snowed we had every to pick day. cotton in the snow, you know, it took us all winter to get it out. <laughs> is this what you call duck hunting or is this duck shooting? From public to private, this is fall season. Sometimes we had to, you know, kill the cats, feed the dogs. It was tough back then, you know. It was hard. Life was hard. But we got through it. We'll get through this, what we're facing today.